You gave it to me for a purpose. I have achieved that purpose. It's yours. It will always be yours. And now we know why. You piece of shit. TV. TV. What up, what up, what up, my people? You know who it is. It's the devil. Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. It's the devil. Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. I know we got a bunch of Jamie Lannister fans out there. And they seen Jamie Lannister give the sword to Brienne or allow her to maintain possession of the sword. And they were just like, oh, look at this honorable man, this knight he has become. He just gave up a Valyrian steel sword because he just got so much honor and he respects her so much. Well, now, due to these leaked images... We see the real reason why Jamie Lannister gave up the sword. Because he was planning on pilfering the other sword off his dead son's body. And that's exactly what he's did. And we can see this easily by this upcoming photo that I am showing you right now. See Jamie Lannister wearing his father's armor as usual because yeah, that's what he's been rocking these last couple of years. And from this shot, he's on some type of battlements. Now, we have heard rumors and it's been in the leaks that he is going to sack Highgarden. and the Lannister army will sack Highgarden. And these photos seem to prove that to be the case. Now, we could look on his right hand side and we see this sword there. Obviously, if it's on his right hand side, he had his right hand chopped off. Therefore, he would want to draw this sword with his left hand. So maybe we will see Jamie Lannister in action this season and maybe he's better than we have seen him before in the past now this sword is none other than widow's whale and we can see the close-up shot here that i'm going to throw up and we can see this is the reason why jamie lannister was so eager to give brienne the sword back because he knew he was going to take this off his dead son and that's the type of man jamie lannister is people i've been trying to tell you for a long time don't trust this man there's no honor in him he only does things that serve himself and that's the bottom line now why would jamie lannister and the lannister army sack high garden and take it over. Well, we know that they are aligned with Daenerys, so they got beef with them, so there's no doubt about it. And from the pictures that we have seen, it seems that they are very successful for the battlements they're on top of. Looks like they have sacked High Garden and they are running off with supplies. That is Jamie Lannister's MO. Now, we know Jamie Lannister is not a smart man, so we know he could not pull this off on his own. That is why Randall Tarly is the one that joins his side, and that is the reason why that they are successful in this campaign. Now, people may be shocked that Randall Tarly will go against the Tyrells, but if you have a fan of my channel, and probably other many other Game of Thrones channels that do good work like... Radio Westeros and History Westeros and Bar 2. Live chat channels like the Hypes Watch, the Small Council, and the Not So Silent Sisters. Then I'm sure you have heard us say before when talking about the Dance with Dragons chapter, the final one, the epilogue, with him in it, you can see that Randall Tarly is the person trying to dissuade people from going there and stopping what's going on at Storm's End. There's also two reasons why there's the book version why I don't think they're going to say why he's mad at him. But the short Cliff Notes version that they'll probably use in the show is that, you know, Mace Tyrell has been taking credit for all of Randall Tarly's victories. And Randall Tarly is upset about it, and that is the reason why they're going to have him flip there without a doubt. But there's a much longer version of it that I'll get into uh, on a different video for people who are more interested in book stuff. But at some point, Jamie Lannister's hubris is going to get the better of him, and he's going to lose. As we've seen in these shots, it seems like they get set upon by the Dothraki, and the Dothraki whoops that ass. Almost killing Jamie Lannister until he is saved by Bronn 
But, you know, it can't have anything to do with Randall Tarley because he would know not to attack the Dothraki in the open field. He's not a fool. But in these images that we've seen, this definitely looks like the Lannister army is defeated. And we see a different type of, of armor on these Lannister troops. Uh, maybe Cersei has some new stuff going on, that she's got some new armor for the people that look more like Lannister. I'm digging Cersei. You know, Cersei is the only person that's not a Targaryen by any blood at all that sat the Iron Throne. I do believe Handy the King Stark one time did for like a second just so he can uh, have a, a marriage go through, but that doesn't really count. So, you know, you gotta give Cersei some props for that. Overall, is this some groundbreaking shit? No, but it does prove the leaks right. And I do believe that probably the whole leak script is right, in all honesty. It's probably all going to go down like that. But me personally, Don Tony Teflon, you know, I'm kind of sick of doing this leak stuff. So we're going to go back to theories in the next couple of videos, unless something really big happens. Also, be on the lookout for the next Song of Ice and Fire Pyramid. That should be dropping soon. And try to get into that Monopolies giveaway. You don't have to be a Patreon for regular subscribers. We got that going on. So subscribe and get that. So if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this. Please spread this across the realm. And please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace. And stay sexy.